good evening and welcome back to Astro Colony, where I'm doing something very different for the start of this episode. Um, we're doing a sped up build at the start of this because, um, well, I recorded this all and discovered it was 17 minutes of me just putting buildings down and not really saying a great deal because I was trying to get all the things going and the logic setting and everything lined up and so, um, yeah, but um, I thought I'd just speed it up and uh, waffle over the top of it instead because, yeah, so I'm just literally building the magnet system here, um, just making sure everything's all put into place and connected properly with the uh, both things, so the magnets require uh, interesting, the magnets require three inputs, but the construction um, uh, constructor only has two inputs, so yeah. Now, I'm not sure how I would have done it normally, but um, anyway. Um, and if you remember a few episodes ago, I was like, ah, we don't need a second belt for um, the uh, mercury and the cobalt. Well, guess what? I need a second belt for the uh, cobalt, so yeah. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, uh, so yeah, and um, the the constructor requires um, cobalt, it requires titanium, uh, not titanium, sorry, it requires um, uh, requires three things that I've forgotten the name of all of them because obviously this has been sped up in front of me and I don't have the game running, but um, yeah, um, and it's only got two inputs, so we're just going to manually put the graphite in there to uh, to get it going and to let it do its thing, so that'll be fine there. Um, and yeah, so I'll connect all the power up, all the logic up, all the bits and pieces up. Everything will be good as gold and wonderful and get that running. And the other two builds, fortunately, are much, much easier. Much, much easier. So, yeah. Um, I've seen a couple of other YouTubers do this sort of thing where they um, uh, speed up their gameplay and they just talk over the top of it. And this is, I think, the first time I've ever done this. And it's weird because I'm watching the footage back right now. Um, I'm watching the sped up footage back right now. And... Even though I only recorded it about ooh, half an hour ago, I don't remember what I did. So, um, <laughs> memory, memory of a fish. Must be. Um, yeah, the other two um, are much easier. Uh, they're much uh, simpler um, uh, builds. Um, the uh, um, hydro generator um, and the. Both of them are hydro generators, sorry. So, yeah, but one only requires to turn more and glass, and we're manually put the glass in. I could build the whole setup for the glass, but I chose to manually put the glass in, so yeah. Um, the other one uh, just requires carbon, which was fairly simple to do, actually, so yeah. Um, but yeah, the, um, uh, the actual constructor for the magnets is a bit more complicated than anything else. It requires uh, gold wire. That was the one, so we built the gold wire behind that, so yeah. Okay. So, let's uh, finish up all the logic on this one here. And we'll then build the other two, they're dead simple. And then we'll come back to actually building a Stargate. Hey, let's put the thingamabobs into here. Not enough to do all of them. Uh, we need 16, we've only got 12 at the moment, but I wanted to just start it to get it going. And you need uranium fuel rods, which we have. That's just uranium. There, yes. get me, um, give me a hundred. Go zoom. Okay, Stop. and away they go. Zoom, zoom, very slowly. Zoom. <laughs> No way for him to travel, actually, but uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad. I'm not going to get anywhere near the back hole. It does kill you. So, uh, don't, um, don't fly into a back hole. You will die and respawn back at your spawn point, which um, I don't know where that would be. I think the colony center, uh, the nearest colony center. So, so they put that there. Bom bom. Bom bom. And doom, and that won't even be the first one. So each one requires um uh one, two, three, four. Oh, so it's four. It's four runs, but it's no eight runs. Uh hold on. One, three, five, six, yeah. So each one requires eight drops, and you've got to do it eight times. So it's eight times eight times two. So we need 128 cobalt magnets, 128 to same glass, 
and um, 512 hydrogen. I have produced more than that. I actually, I, I did originally split this. Um, I think I split this. And I put this stuff in. It's only been five minutes and I've forgotten already. Uh, no, I put the re I put the rest of the graphene in. Um, and I threw the rest of the glass in here as well. So they'll be making a thousand of them. So, so we should be good. We should be good. Okay. Okay. So, how about we let this build. Let it do its thing. Uh, so they've got 24 in there. Oh, oh you're, you're now I've taken everything you've done. So you'll be able to do one and then stop for a little bit. But that's okay. That's okay. So how about we uh, continue doing this? Um, I will continue manually bringing stuff down. Um, I decided uh, this was just too much to build again. We could just copy paste it. It would work. But um, no, no. The amount of... Uh, Carbon that requires it's just easier to just tap into. They're not doing anything anyway, so yeah, we'll just tap into this. So okay, okay. So let's let this do its thing. I will get more of these mm. for time to go by, and we'll be back once we built a Stargate. Another Stargate. Okay, so. This should be it. This should be it. They've got enough stuff in here to finish. I need to do like one more blip, but all six of them are going for some reason. But whatever. Um, I had to move the ball cube back because it was out the way. And uh, funny thing, down there somewhere, um, uh, there is another world called ball cube. Um, when we went down there to pick up a planet, um, I went down looking for other planets, so um, uh, I went down there trying to find um, oh cobalt. We've uh, got a problem with cobalt. Um, uh, I flew down there, I had a look around, I saw a ball cube. I was like, hang on a minute, <laughs> there's two of them. <gasps> but here we go. We have the Stargate. It doesn't have any power. That's a problem. Power was a problem. I've extended our power bridge across. So, yep. Okay. Um, so we need to power this. Might need to get a bit closer as well. I feel like we need to get a bit closer. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that very, very carefully. Extremely carefully. Because um, I do not want my world to be um, consumed by the all-seeing doom planet. So let's do this. And let's just fire ourselves along. Although, I think, if I'm honest with you... Um, Far away. Uh, when it's a Stargate, I don't think it's it, you, you get consumed by it anymore. So, get me closer. Ooh. It's now much safer. Much safer for all our humans to be right next door to a Stargate. Yeah, it's fine. Good. I just want to get closer because when you go through the Stargate, um, you uh, can take the ship with you. The thing, so I want to make sure it's close enough to register because i want to bring this with us we want to teleport to another world with this and see how it goes so let's get rid of these two let's put in a power uh advanced energy transmitter i guess we need the advanced energy transmitter i should really build a future reactor as well and have a look at how this works so let's do this and let's connect you to that guy okay um you are munching all of our power which is fine i don't know Doesn't look as if it's actually charging. Because you get a ring around the outside. Those back things become a ring around the outside. Doesn't look like it's charging. So, uh... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, dear. Ooh, dear. Unless it takes a long, long time to charge. Maybe it's a long, long time to charge. Do you know what, then? Let's build a second one. To kill even more of our power. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about that. And then, let's build a fusion reactor. And just see what these do. Um, we'll put a fusion reactor right here next to our colonists because uh, they'll love it. They love it. It's fine. This one's polymer to produce a thousand electricity. Okay. Um, I mean, I can ramp up production here. I can absolutely ramp up production here. 
these make one every 12 seconds and you want four every 16 seconds so it's three to one but we could absolutely ramp up production here um, because we only need four of these to run this it's, it's i think it is it is kind of it's supposed to be three to one but it wasn't keeping up so four to one would be the way to go i would not be opposed if we wanted to do that to maybe just even build a um i think somewhere. what how much how much um do, 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 how much do you do one every 60 seconds and you produce one every 16 seconds so potentially um 60 divided by 16 is we can run three off of this setup hmm. we can run three off of this sort of setup and we can cut this back to just having four here which cuts off the end which will be fine and then um we can also build a dedicated area like copy this um, and have it run into three fusion reactors. I think I want to do that. I think I want to do that. I think I want to cut off the end of this and cut it down to just four. So this will continue making polymer for us, which is fine. That's for our science. And then we'll build another one. Um, there. Let's do that. So let's um, go in here. Where are we going here? So we want to go. Oh, uh, that. Pick up. That. Pick up. Pick that. Oh, and of course, you have all the uh, power lines and whatnot underneath. these here and uh we'll go and build this again elsewhere Delete. Yeah, okay and then what i want to do is i want to copy this so let's go to our functions go to our box section tool click it's a long yeah. Drag it down to there so we can get the underground stuff for it as well. We'll put it up a little bit. Normally we don't have to run it up because nothing's on a higher level, so I want to drag it all the way to there. I don't want to take that um the side of this. Um because then hopefully all the logic will connect to itself. Will work fine. So we can get rid of these two. They are no longer required. Okay. Hopefully, all the logic and everything like that will connect up and we'll be just fine. Okay, so let's uh, select. I want to select the whole thing, the whole shebang. Copy this, um, add it as a new blueprint. Move it forward because I need to know where the central, the central place is. Move it down to right one. There we go. So the output point is right there. Okay, cool. Right. And then we come along to here dum, 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 and we're going to put it behind this here but let's uh extend this out a little bit here because i need to get three fusion reactors three fusion reactors so one there one there and one there And then let's bring this blueprint in and put it there. The um oh oh no 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 um actually yes 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 it's the floor underneath that's um this floor it's this floor so I'm gonna select this floor and I'm going to press R to rotate it just so it lines up because otherwise it looks really bad. Also, this is too close. Too 
this is too close. So um, I want to actually move it back by one. So sorry, bots. Um, but um, gonna get removed again. Terribly sorry about that, but uh, not much I can do about it. I need to move it back by one further. It will fit just perfectly if we do that. Okay. Up. Let's modify it and then say go down by five. Box select and buddy. The box gonna be like ah, where do we go? No. Uh, luckily they don't uh, just fall into oblivion, um, which wouldn't really make any sense anyway because. Uh, Like that, and then we want to go with uh, blueprints, new blueprint, one, two, three, pack it there. And which way is this? Copy, select that, push R to rotate the whole floor, just to make the floor more beautiful. Okay, and then we want to have a conveyor belt and come out of here, um, and uh, it's going to bit three ways let's move these over by one shall we make life easier for ourselves uh, do I want to put a storage in as well and link no I don't I don't think I want to bother with the storage I think we'll just uh rely on the splitter to keep everything even and uh so these one one every 60 seconds and this is actually going to produce way more than that so that's fine none of the logic actually did connect to it which is rather annoying i don't i don't understand sometimes the logic will connect sometimes it won't so i don't quite understand why it doesn't say blueprints maybe the rotation breaks it i'm not sure i'm not sure you read the center one. You do that one. You do that one. You also read the center one. So both of you are just reading the center center one here, which should be fine because we're evenly. You know, so you do that one. And you do that one. Okay. Um, so 19, 19, 19, 20. Power is already connected. Water is already connected. We just need to literally plug it into the system. Let's plug it into. Um, well, I can't plug it into that. Well, I can plug it into that. I can plug it into anywhere I like, really. Do, 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 do. Let's just plug it into. And there for power. And for water, we'll just take it off of this one. I think we've got enough water. I don't think water's struggling at all. No, nope, water's good. Gas is absolutely struggling and coming to a complete close, basically. So, yeah. Um, let's uh, connect these up to our power grid because we'd like them running. I don't think fusion reactors um, cause any major problem. I mean, fusion shouldn't cause any... Uh, um, Fusion, fusion shouldn't cause any um, radiation or anything. It's, it's fusion, not nuclear. It's a different thing. Different thing. Different radiation. Different different style of of uh, explodey. So yeah. Okay. So you're gonna start going. You'll get your thing. You'll do your thing. You're running at forty percent efficiency. Yeah, that's not really surprising. Um, I could kickstart these guys by uh, putting in some polymer into them. If I had any, tap everything there. I don't. We can shut them down there. I could grab some polymer. Let's grab some polymer. Two, 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 two. Let's grab three polymer. Or one, two, three. No. We will go one for you, one for you, one for you. There we go. And now power is 100%. Um, we're using 74% of the system. 
That's with these running and with the um, uh, solar panels. So, yeah, we're using a lot of power. And that's half the base isn't even running, technically. So, what's this doing? This is doing wire. Oh, we must have used up some wire. That's okay. There we go. And then you're going to get extra stuff. Um, and you'll produce one every 16 seconds, which should be enough to start filling these, which will be awesome. Fusion power. Yay. Okay. So now, maybe, hopefully, hey, there we go. It's starting to fill. So this is going to take a long time to fill up. Um, so I think we'll come back next episode and we will jump through to Universe 3 and see what happens. Yeah. Okie dokie. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again in the next one. They've already got a Ponora in them ready and waiting. This will be cool. This will be awesome. This is not bad. This is not so bad, actually. This is not a terrible, massive size for the fusion reactors. I should have jumped to the fusion reactor sooner. This we could spam quite easily. Um, so, yeah, it just requires a bit of water. Not a problem at all. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always... Have fun.